This is the Star Colli um, uh, NF, uh, NFT Nutrient Film Technique Hydroponic System. So it's a Marina 200 air pump. And if you stop your screen there, you'll be able to see the power of it. And uh, it, it goes like both outlets go to uh, where the pumping is done, but um, there is a, a side one that goes to um, a U of, of water. And I have a measurement here that shows the pressure. So it's 40 inches of pressure, which is about, I don't know, 1.5, 1.6 psi, something like that. I'm kind of guessing here. I have coloring in my water. And it's just a YouTube from uh, the bottle to the, um, back to the pump. And it's, um, it, it's a manometer. So it's 40 inches of pressure. I have uh, tomatoes on the outside that got started a bit earlier than the hydroponic ones. So uh, these are the tomatoes in soil. I made the greenhouse from stuff that was given to me, so uh, these are from uh, uh, Guy's uh, uh, glass panels around his deck that he took down. And uh, the metal, this is metal here, uh, it's um, it came from uh, a company that was um, going bankrupt. So um, it was uh, to be dumped or given away for, I guess, better use. So uh, I took it. So I had to haul it away, so it was a pain, but uh, it worked eventually. Uh, in here I have um, watercress. There's some Swiss chard in there, you can't really see it. There's one in there. Uh, more Swiss chard here. That's in about a week, I guess. And more um, watercress and Swiss chard. I'll put more stuff in later. And uh, I'll show you how it's... Oh, we might as well see. This is uh, gives an indication of how fast the water is flowing. And this is... Uh, where the airlift pump is that's powered by the marina. The air goes down through this little black pipe, which is uh, it's uh, irrigation pipe actually. It's an irrigation tubing that uh, they use in um, um, rainbird irrigation, I think it is. Anyway, the, the air pipe goes right down in to the blue pipe down below and then from there uh, the, the air pipe continues down I'll show you how to do the um, how to join the uh, PEX pipe to the little uh, plastic can and then it's just a push fit from the PEX pipe into the um, the um, old hole uh, garden hose pipe and uh, the black pipe continues down through this down to about three and a half feet down below here. I and I just um, I have a hammer drill, so I went through my concrete and down to three and a half feet deep. And then there, the air um, pipe ends up down there, and um, uh, it bubbles out the air, which must come up, and it comes up. And this is uh, where it comes up, and that's called an airlift pump. And it's pumping water around. In here, here's my. Now, there are different varieties, so that might explain the color difference, or it might be because I'm not putting enough of the nutrient mix in. But uh, these ones down here, this is the same as this, and uh, they're exactly the same color, so I think I think it's all well, uh, all is well with that. Uh, one one mistake I made was um, so a nutrient film is you're supposed to go through a channel that's flat and I use um, pond rubber 
in, um, in this metal stuff was given to me. So as long as I found a use for it. So um, I've got Pond River on the bottom. The big mistake I made was I didn't use a, a dark material to shield it from light. So there's um, these little uh, um, duckweed are growing in there too. So I have to shield it from light. I use clothes pegs to uh, hold it. I've got thin plastic on top and I've just cut the holes in for the various different plants. Uh, as soon as the tomatoes grow a bit higher, um, I'll be clipping off the bottom leaves and then my Swiss chard and the other stuff I'm going to put in will start to grow better. Um, so I have uh, Swiss chard here too. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is 14 inches wide, pond rubber on the bottom. And um, it's now, now that the plants are starting to grow, because they started off, you know, some of these are only, you know, a, a third of the height when I put them in, and uh, actually less. So as they start to grow, there's a lot more water being used per day. So this is in about seven or eight hours, the plants have transpired this amount of water. So I've got to figure a way of, um, um, uh, feeding in the nutrient uh, the water solution as needed or the nutrient solution as needed here's how quick it's flowing so there's a lot of there's quite an amount of water flowing there it's another thing i need to do i need to measure the water flow accurately because it's supposed to be uh, two liters per minute i think that's more and this is 14 inches wide it could be, I believe you can go 20 feet. This is only eight feet long because this is uh, the length of my little greenhouse that I made. So it's only eight feet long. And I will be comparing them with the ones in soil, uh, which isn't a fair comparison because the ones in soil are uh, in front of, so they hide these guys from the light. And I'll also, I might do a pepper as well. So I've got peppers here and over there. So I might, I might put a pepper in the, um, right down here at the end, I guess, somewhere along here, I might put a pepper and uh, see how it grows in uh, the nutrient film technique. Anyway, uh, it's working better than I expected. Uh, I've just got to be more proactive on putting in uh, nutrients. Thank you.